Hello, I have Dr. Victor Miller, who just won the RSA Conference for Award for the Excellence in Mathematics. So congratulations. Thank you, Jean. Can we go back to about 1985 and talk about your discovery and kind of the process behind it, that sort of thing? Sure, I'd be glad mm -hmm. to. Uh, I actually first started learning about elliptic curves, believe it or not, as far back as September of 1964 when I was a freshman in college. Uh, I did my graduate work at Harvard in the theoretical aspects of elliptic curves um, and, and associated mathematical objects. Um, and in fact, they were a very interesting but very arcane piece of mathematics. There were probably only maybe two or three hundred people in the world who really knew much about the intricacies of them. Uh, in 1984, uh, I, w I had been working at the IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center, and one of my old friends from graduate school, Don Coppersmith, who in fact won, won this award in 2002, I think, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, was working very heavily on attacks on the discrete logarithm system, and I was his chief sounding board. Mm -hmm. uh, so that actually taught me a lot about cryptography. Uh, and when I saw that the Diffie-Hellman systems uh, based on these things were not were a little more vulnerable than had been thought uh, I sort of thought gee it would be really nice if I could make it better and um, since I knew a lot about elliptic curves I started thinking about well what would happen if I used elliptic curves and I found um, much to my uh, in, in a very happy uh, case that as far as I could see that none of the attacks that worked uh, so well against the standard discrete logarithm based systems actually seemed to be able to work in elliptic curves. So I wrote up my ideas and I submitted it to the crypto conference, which was then fairly new. I think it was only four years old. Um, and I was very happy uh, to get it accepted. Uh, I will say elliptic curves, it had been in the air. Uh, Hendrik Lenstra uh, had just found, showed how one could use elliptic curves to make a better factorization algorithm, which has direct impact on, on the RSA crypto system. Uh, and, but this was entirely new subject matter. I would venture to say that virtually no one at the crypto conference, with, except for maybe two or three people, had ever even heard of an elliptic curve hmm. before. Uh, and basically, I think some people actually got excited enough about it so that they started pursuing it. But like any new idea, especially one with rather difficult and unknown mathematics, it takes a while to seep in. Uh, in the field of cryptography is, is, is a funny field because uh, basically people have to feel comfortable um, that, they, that enough researchers have looked at things uh, very deeply for a while and, and things have steadied down. And in fact, it, so it took probably about 15 to 18 years before that situation really occurred with elliptic curves, but now uh, I, I've completely lost track. I mean, they're basically used in numerous standards and, wow. uh, and, and products, and uh, so I feel that they've, they've definitely arrived. And uh, so, and, and, but basically the other thing was is as a mathematician, which I primarily am, uh, I really sort of felt like I wanted to uh, force more people to, to learn about the, uh, the beauties of these things, and uh, sometimes people have to be uh, given a, a, a very hard shove in order to do that, and I think I did that. I think you yeah. did, yes. and yeah. congratulations yeah. again. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, well deserved. Okay. Thanks.